Welcome to the quick introduction to Design Studio. In this quick video tutorial, we're going to show you how you can build your digital sign presentation in less than five minutes. So let's begin. First thing, let's go ahead and create your free account. Select your template, provide your email and your password, and click continue. Your account is being created, and here in the dashboard, you can get a global view of the resources and your stations, your remote players, Next, we'll switch to scenes. Now, a scene is essentially just a canvas where you can build your presentation and put the different elements together, your images, your videos, labels, and so on. You can see that we have different scenes since we've started the account with a template. And I can move the different elements. I can modify the labels, change the fonts. I can pick the color that I want, change the font size, so all pretty straightforward. Pretty much all what you see is what you get type of a scene editor. You can notice that my background is locked, so I'm able to select items. If I click on the tree, I can lock and unlock items. So that makes it easy to move items, or if I want to lock them, I'll be able to select on top of them. I can also hide and view elements by clicking on the eye icon. And I can set the height of an item so it can be on top of everything, or it can also be below everything, simply by dragging and dropping on the tree. Next, on the imports, I can add different components. See so if I wanted to, for example, add a clock, I can drag and drop, set my clock, select my mask or build a custom mask, change the fonts and the color for the clock, Next, I click on Preview so I can watch my presentation play in the browser. You notice that if I resize the presentation, everything automatically scales properly. Now, it might get skewed, but everything is still placed exactly where I put it. So, in order for you to achieve this kind of placement, you want to make sure that you select the different elements. And under Layout, set the Auto Scaling. This will ensure that you can run your presentation in any screen resolution. Of course, I can also drag and drop images, SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, MP4 videos, just as you would expect. Also, anytime you see this icon right here, you can select from existing resources or from our library, and we include a lot of different resources in the system. So you can really get up and running in no time. If you go to resources, click on the star again, you can select from the different resources that we have available for you. Simply select an item, and you'll be able to import it into your presentation. Also, if you switch to scenes, you can see that we have a lot of pre-made scenes beautifully created that you can select from. And again, simply select the scene that you want. You click on continue to import it into your presentation. And once it's imported, you can modify it. And once it's imported, you can select the different elements just like before, modify them. So it's very easy to get up and running with beautiful content. Next, let's exit the scene. We'll switch to our players. We'll make sure that our scene is set as a player assignable so we can assign the scene to a remote signage player. Connect to the network. Register the signage player with the same username and password that you created your free account with. Select the scene that you want to assign to the signage player. Give it a name. Click on Next. And here you can see the presentation is running on my remote signage player. Here are the players. You may want to click on refresh if the player doesn't show up right away. And then you can remote manage it. You can do live screenshots. And of course, you can also modify the scene that's currently running on it simply by clicking on the drop down. So you have full remote control. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Thank you.